mile track. Brandon Lynn, Ty Majeski. They're in the start zone and they are on the lap pedal. And away we go at Talladega. The rest of the field, for Michael Self and Natalie Decker, they put them right back in contention. Top 20 right now are on the lead lap. Now Decker is off the pace, ducking below the yellow line, no doubt coming to pit road. Yeah, she must have had an issue why she found herself 23 seconds behind. Dylan, what's going on with the, the 54 car? Well, they thought that it was a, an electrical issue a few laps ago, and they told her to just keep running it and see if it got any better. Well, it only is happened. On board the frame, oh. body work damage. Could be something coming from the engine or maybe a, a chocolate hub. right now. <laughs> Usually you don't lose a, a right side hub, you lose a left side hub because the grease runs away from the bearings on the left side. That's one of the things he did. Right. Big time skid marks that Moffat. Oh my god, involved. I called it. I knew he was gonna wreck because he had the smoke. Car. Looked like maybe Christian, I guess in the 15 car. May have been a situation where they were trying to get to pit road and had an incident. We see that happen so many times. And it is Christian Eckes. Big the GBO car. Camry with some big time front end damage. Not sure what came first here. The chicken or the egg. We were documenting three Eckes right oh. behind him. Oh. Oh, Looked he like went the 46 to... just suddenly. Do okay. a little bit of the speedy drive. No. All right. Talking about bounty rookie of the year leader. New York they have restrictive plates on these cars? Yeah, yeah they have restrictive plates on these cars, but they're not going to run in. That um, That's a great sign. You can um, see all the damage to that car. It was already in trouble there. That car just darted oh, off the oh racetrack into God. the inside safer barrier. Tommy coming out of New York, a veteran dirt sports modified mm. racer. Look at that wall give, Dave. This is his first Talladega. He did have a wide-eyed impression of this place, oh getting God. up to speeds in excess of 180 miles an hour in that Andy Hillenberg on car. He's still in the car. Welcome to Menards Series Racing. There's still some work to be done. A moment, though, to congratulate and thank Talladega Super Speedway's Grant Lynch. Ron Drager presenting him with a lifetime membership card to ARCA, retiring after 25 years doing such great work here. Oh, without a doubt, this racetrack has uh, really gone through a transformation, one of the premier facilities that we have, and uh, it has been, it's meant so much to the ARCA series over the years. Holmes with a good start, pay attention. Does he have enough grunt to get around the 18? It worked just like they planned it. Brett Holmes has a little bit of help on the outside. He has Joe Graff Jr., the 77. They need a little bit more help, though. Here comes Gustine to try to join them on the outside. Big freight train on the inside. Just a few cars tucked up on the outside. Mumford saying, get up here, get to my rear bumper, give me a shove. But he's going backwards. Somehow Gustine had a hole to get in on the inside. He jumped in behind Andy Sice in the 0-2. Down there on pit road, or on the spotter stand, or both. Got a lap car coming at us. Brad Smith. Smith. Or even Brad Smith. Brad's having a solid run. He's on the lead lap. He, he'll go a lap down here when the lead pack goes by, but running in the 17th spot. Brad Smith with some history here. A couple of incidents, of course, racing with James Harvey Hilton the last couple, three, four years incident here so that was weighing heavily on his mind this week yeah, he's having a good run he lost james and his son james jr the move already to gilliland in the four herbs in the 18. lynn in the 20 majeski in the 22 Somebody self in the something. 25 the way they've been since we restarted this race on lap 57. inside of five to go now to talladega super speedway see if these lap cars will stay down on the bottom of the racetrack Looks like everybody's going to be able to make it by. Scott Melton, T.L. Wilson, go another lap down. Front pack are on a freight train. We're on right now. We're on the 20 here, Dylan. But indeed, they're telling Brady to change everything. Thomas Prater looks like he's a... I don't know if that's the right front tire. Well, I can't imagine what's going to happen issue. now. <laughs> you see some... It'll change things if the caution comes out, but the green is still caution, out right now. Caution, he's down caution, on the caution, 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 caution. 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 The the you can't it. Fluid. And we're down to under five miles now. Look at the gap. 
between the 18 and the 20. Oh, 20's closing the gap. They're setting him up. Can they get him? Final lap gone. Go. 2.66 miles to see if Todd Gillen can be the second consecutive 18-year-old to win a super speedway race in 2019. All right, Brandon Lynn, Tom McKiskey had the gap. Look at Michael Sutter on the outside. That might take that move away from those guys. That's going to disrupt those guys running together. For the final time down the back stretch. Gillen's Michael gonna Sutton win it. is being shuffled out of the mix now. It's a long way to go to that start finish line. Can anybody make a run on Todd Gilliland? No. Nope. The 18 and 20 cars are gonna try to hook up and do just that. This one's gonna be a fun to the finish line. There's gonna be no room in the bottom. He's gonna have to go around the outside. He faced to the outside. No, nope, he's not gonna make it go in one. That was uh, kind of a boring race, though, but had been having cool. his troubles on super speedway races as a player. I'd like to do that. He may be 18, but he looked like a veteran.